Today, we'll be explaining an intense thriller movie titled 12 Feet Deep. Spoilers ahead. Now, let's begin. At the pool site, the manager pins notes on the board for a long holiday while talking on the phone. A woman named Bree leaves her ring in the bag so that she can start her training. After a while, Bree's sister named Jonah has returned from the drug rehabilitation, also joins along in the pool. Meanwhile, the janitor Clara gets caught by the manager for stealing money in the lost and found room. This is the third time she's done it. Clara was warned to get fired and ordered to do cleaning before the day ends. The time comes to close the pool, the manager asks the swimmers to leave. While packing up, Bree finds out that her engagement ring is lost somewhere. Jonah spots it stuck in the metal grate inside the pool. Bree immediately dives right in to get the ring back. However, the ring gets stuck in the gate. Even Jonah tries to help Bree, but all is in vain. The manager sees as if everyone has left on time, so he covers up the pool for the long holiday coming. Jonah and Bree try to come up, but it's too late. As Jonah becomes angry, Bree tries to calm her down. No one stays at the pool at the time to help the sisters. The two then manage to lift the cover, but it's made from strong fiberglass and unbreakable. Both the sisters start fighting. Jonah starts to shout at Bree for risking their lives over a stupid ring. Bree then confesses that it's her proposal ring and she wants to show it off with Jonah. While inspecting the fiberglass cover for weak spots, Bree and Jonah find a small hole. It's so small, you can't even put your hand through it. And at this point, Jonah confesses that she's jealous of Bree's life while having the drug rehab. Bree has a perfect life and a coming wedding while Jonah struggles in the rehab. Jonah has to deal with her troubles alone after years in the center. Bree learns that Jonah meant to throw her ring earlier. The two quarrel shortly after that. Bree decides to get back to the ring alone. Finally, she gets it out of the metal grate. Later, the sisters agree not to fight anymore and try to seek help instead. Bree suggests lifting up the grate, but Jonah's right. It's just too heavy to open. Time goes by until the end of the day. The automatic lights in the pool shut down. David, Bree's fiance, keeps calling, but her phone's now in her bag. Jonah blames David for calling hours, but not to try to look for them. Jonah has no trust in David since the very beginning. The sisters again argue over David. Shortly after that, Bree has a severe headache. Bree reveals that she was diagnosed with diabetes three years ago. Her blood sugar is rapidly declining. Without regularly taking her insulin shot, she'll fall into a diabetic coma. Unfortunately, the insulin shot is now in her purse. Jonah is shocked, but she assures Bree that she'll take the shot as soon as possible. The two then manage to widen the hole with a plastic piece found in the pool. When Jonah asks about the family during her being away, Bree opens up about her father, who was an aggressive alcoholic and drug user. Bree meant to fire the house that caused his death. Suddenly, the two hear the door open. It's the janitor, Clara, who's preparing to leave. Clara is surprised there are two women trapped in the pool. Realizing the camera system is on, Clara enters the control room and turns it off. She picks up Bree's bag, taking her cash, smartphone, and credit card, leaving the sisters to believe she's going to assist them. Clara then asks the girls for the phone pin code. Jonah stops Bree from doing so as they begin to question Clara's strange attitude. Clara reveals her past in prison and how struggling she's now with her children and the monthly bills. As the sisters delay, Clara turns off the heater. Bree has to compromise with Clara by giving her the pin code, hoping to get her help. Clara then leaves with the card, promising to get back as soon as she can take the money from Bree's card. The girls have no choice but to spend the night waiting. As Bree is getting weaker, Jonah dives deep down to the metal grate. Being exhausted due to the cold water, Jonah can't deal with the metal grate alone. Jonah returns to the surface, blaming herself for being cowardly and helpless. The sisters embrace to warm each other up. In the morning, Clara comes back as promised, teasing the two poor women. At this point, Jonah tries to be polite to the janitor, asking her for the assistance to take the insulin shot for Bree. Being mad as there's only $80 in Bree's card, Clara threatens the sisters to let them die in the pool for their stupidity. A moment later, Jonah decides to punish Clara for her cruelty and not keep her words earlier. Jonah pretends to cry and asks Clara to come closer to the hole on the pool cover. As Clara places her ear to the hole, Jonah suddenly stabs her ear with the sharp plastic. Clara yells out with pain. 
Clara rushes to see how bad the wound is and stops the bleeding from her ear. The janitor then activates the automatic pool cleaning system, which causes the females to choke on chlorine. The sisters crave for help from Clara. Understanding the risk of her actions, Clara switches it off after a few minutes. At this point, Clara says she has nothing to lose in the world. She needs the sisters to pay the price for their action. Clara demands the sisters turn over their most valuable property, which is Bree's engagement ring. Being fed up with the torment, Bree decides to give Clara her ring. Clara again leaves the pool with the ring. Jonah cries in despair, accusing herself for everything. Bree consoles Jonah and forgives her for her wrongdoings. After hours in the water, Bree begins to have hallucinations. Bree sees the pool cover finally open up and David arrives to rescue her. However, Jonah isn't around. She suddenly wakes up, realizing Jonah actually disappeared in the pool. Being tired and cold, Bree slowly moves around and sees Jonah with the sharp plastic in her neck. Jonah intends to end her life. Bree tells Jonah to stop and believe that they'll survive. However, Jonah claims that even if they get over this, Bree has her great life to move on while she's going to drown in drugs again. Bree cries and tells her that she always needs Jonah in her life and no one abandons her as she thinks. The two sisters finally make up after all these years. While Clara puts on Bree's ring, David calls up again. Clara opens the voice messages and learns that David will call 911 since he hasn't seen her home. As worrying to be sent to prison again, Clara shows up again at the pool to talk to the sisters. Clara wants the two to promise not to reveal a word about her to anyone else or else she'll abandon the two in the pool forever. Jonah and Bree agree, embracing each other in happy moments. Clara decides to open the pool cover to let Bree and Jonah out, but the passcode she was given by the manager is no longer valid. Clara explains this to the two and says she's had enough with this situation. Clara then leaves and lets the sisters decide their fate. The worst fear now comes to Jonah and Bree. Another night passes. Bree seems to fall into a coma. Jonah manages to shake her out of it. Bree reveals that during the accident that killed their father, she actually stopped him from fleeing, saying, I killed that monster. Jonah decides to try to lift up the metal grate again. After several failures, she takes the tower from Bree and hooks it to the grate. Finally, she's able to take one piece out. Coming back to Bree, Jonah is shocked that Bree has completely passed out and drowned in water. Jonah has to do CPR on Bree, making Bree gain consciousness. Jonah takes all her remaining power to break the cover from the hole. Jonah rips off the fragiles to widen the hole, bleeding her arm. Finally, the sisters escape out of the pool. Jonah quickly gives Bree the insulin shot, unsure if Bree can survive. All of a sudden, Clara appears with a gun pointing at the two. She threatens to kill Bree and Joanna after considering what would happen if they didn't die in the pool, as she doesn't want to return to prison. However, Clara slowly drops the gun down and returns the ring to Jonah, feeling guilty and sympathetic. Jonah calls the police and the ambulance to help Bree, telling Clara to leave. In the last scene, Bree is awake, receiving the ring back from Jonah. The two sisters burst into tears and follow the police out of the pool. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.